If your computer is already running Windows 11 but wants to upgrade to version 24H2 without going through the clean installation process, you can launch the setup with a special command to bypass the requirements to launch an in-place upgrade on unsupported hardware. To upgrade a computer that doesn't meet the Windows 11 24H2 requirements, use these steps. Open File Explorer Windows Key plus E. Open the Windows 11 24H2 ISO file location. Right-click the ISO file, select the Open with submenu, and choose the Windows Explorer option. Confirm the letter for the drive with the installation files. Open Start. Search for Command Prompt, right-click the top result, and choose the Run as Administrator option. Type the following command to open the location with the installation files and press Enter, J. In the command, change the letter J for the letter that corresponds to your drive. Type the following command to run the Windows 11 setup by passing the hardware requirements and press enter, setup, exe product server quick tip. If the command doesn't work, in the installation drive, open the sources folder with the cd sources command and run the set your prep product server to launch the setup again. Windows 11 setup product server optional click the change how Windows setup downloads updates option. Windows 11 setup update option select the not right now option. Disable updates during installation click the next button. Check the keep files, settings and apps option. Click the install button to upgrade while keeping files and apps. Media creation tool settings after you complete the steps, the setup will continue to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2 and since this is an upgrade, you won't have to go through the out of box experience and your files and apps will be kept. However, the new setup will run in an unsupported state, meaning that you may be able to download system updates, but they won't be guaranteed to work and Microsoft won't offer support. While this command works to upgrade an older version of Windows 11 to version 24H2, it's important to mention that there will be times when it may not work and you may end up with a message about the setup not being able to determine if your computer is compatible. You can try the command a few more times, but if it doesn't work, you should try a different method.